Hello boys and girls, Happy New Year. Hope you had a good New Year and good Christmas. Some of you have asked if I'd do another video, so here it is. It's now just coming up to 13 months since I had my hair transplant in Turkey. So I'll quickly go over the top so you can see how it's doing. So. It's not doing too bad, I think. I'm pretty happy with it overall. So some people say it stops growing at six months. Some people say it stops growing at 12 months. Some people say they have still seen growth after 12 months. So hopefully mine will keep growing. It's doing really well at the moment. It's pretty thick on top and even the crown seems not too bad. You can still see through the crown a little bit. So maybe one day I might need a second transplant. Um, at the moment, no, I can't afford it, so I'm happy with it anyway. Got a few things to talk about. First of all, those who watch the channel might know that I've had a haircut. Basically, I went online and I was asking people online, you know, what do they ask for when they get a haircut? Because I've not been to a barber's or hairdresser's or anything like that for about 20 to 25 years now. Because I was sort of balding on top, I used to just shave it myself, just using clippers at home with a mirror in front and a mirror behind so you can just see what you're doing, just shave it. But I thought I'd treat myself to go to the barbers. So I went to a Turkish barbers, which I don't know if it's the same as other barbers because I've not been to barbers for ages. But um, basically I went in and they asked what I'd like. Bear in mind this day was quite windy and my hair was just like a fuzzy mess because I'd washed it, it was just fuzzy everywhere. Probably frightened them when I went in through the door. But I showed them a picture and I wanted something more like this. And they kind of said, no, your hair's too curly for that. I explained I'd had a hair transplant and this was the first haircut that I was having professionally and the young lad that worked in there went and got his boss I guess and the boss came over and started doing it. They basically speak kind of broken English and I can't speak Turkish so it was kind of hard to get through but I showed a load of pictures of styles that I liked on my phone. Like I said I, I went online on to, to um, hair transplant forum on Facebook and sort of just asking guys on there what they go for these days and most guys said they go for a skin fade on the sides and the back and sort of don't go too short on top so in my case i asked for a skin fade and they just in the barbers they kept saying no 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 not this time not this time i'm not sure why maybe you know maybe it's because it's the first time it's been cut in ages i, I don't know Maybe because it was so long they were worried I was going to freak out having it suddenly so much shorter. But anyway, they said no, we, we shave it, but not as short as that. So they've kind of done it like, like that. But like they said, next time maybe I'll get the skin fade and it'll be shorter. Yeah, I don't know if the Turkish ones are the same as other barbers, but they do. As well as cutting your hair, I sat down, had the hair cut, and I thought, is that it? And then they went and got me a Turkish coffee and that was quite nice. Then they um, they wanted to wash my hair, so you, I thought you'd have to lean back, but you don't, you lean forward, and they washed it. Then they were massaging the back of my head, and you know when you go to an Indian restaurant, they give you one of those hot towels at the end. They actually had one of these in the hairdressers, in the barbers, and they wrapped it around my head, and they were sort of massaging my face, had it, that on for a couple of minutes. They then get this thing, it's like a massive match, and they light the end of it, and they basically waft it around your head, and they keep going like that, and I don't know what it does, but I think it gets rid of any kind of little hairs, but then they um, use the trimmer on my ears and nose to get rid of any hairs, then they put moisturiser all over your face, and massaging that in, so it's, it's kind of a bit different from when I used to go to the barbers about 20, 25 years ago. They also did my eyebrows, they um, put a comb through them and trimmed them. So yeah, you come out quite well pruned. So on top, yeah, it's, it's still pretty thick, I'm happy with it, but they, they said they didn't want to go too short on top. And because my hair is quite curly, they said just sort of leave it and they kind of wafted it all up. But I, 
My main fear of having it cut was what's the crown going to look like because when you have it longer it kind of covers the crown a little bit and it kind of exposed it a bit more and especially under strong light sort of in the winter if you're in a bathroom or something and you've got spotlights you can you can sort of see through it if you get a mirror behind you so that was a bit of a worry but it's it's not too bad it's yes probably could do with more graphs in the the crown but i i guess we all could like i say we might have a second op at some point but yeah that so that's the uh haircut done for now it's 22 pounds i think yeah so that that was a, i basically asked online about styles so leave a comment below what hairstyle do you have do you have it long on top short on top do you have a skin fade um, some of the pictures i found have lines a lot of guys said don't bother going for the lines you know it's for younger people bear in mind i'm 45 in a couple of months time so i didn't want something that makes me look old but then i don't want something that tries to make me look like a teenager because obviously i'm not so yeah the other thing i've been talking about is aftershaves i put online i know this is about hair but it's also male grooming so what aftershaves do you use at the moment what ones smell good what ones would you recommend like i've said before because i'm tight <laughs> i buy these these are like smell alikes and this one was eight pounds it's 30 milliliters you know they do smell pretty similar i've got quite a few of these you can buy really small bottles for about three pounds and then see if you like them if you do you can get the bigger bottles like this this is kind of not the biggest bottle but one of the bigger ones so i get these from a place called perfumeparlor.co.uk and they are pretty cool I'd recommend those. They're oils though, so they do make your skin a little bit oily. And the benefit is the smell lasts pretty much all day. It's really good. Yeah, leave a comment below. What aftershaves are you using at the moment? What do you recommend? What smells good and what doesn't even? Yeah, other things, questions I've been getting about currency. In Turkey, they use lira. But when you pay for the operation, you pay in euros or my clinic certainly did anyway. Um, I paid on a credit card, I didn't carry a wad of cash. Some guys take cash, some places give you a reduction, like 50 euros off if you pay in cash. Mine didn't, so I just paid on my card, and I took a spare card in case one didn't work. For meals and stuff like that at the hotel, I just paid in lira, but again, I paid on my credit card, so I didn't pay in cash, I didn't take any cash out at all out there. Okay, so that's one of the questions that I've been getting quite a bit. Also been getting questions about my pills. What does what? So biotin, I take one a day, that makes your hair stronger. It also makes it grow faster. And anything like your nails, it will make grow faster. You should probably spot that if you've been taking it for a while. The other one I take is saw palmetto. This I take instead of finasteride or propecia. This is the herbal version of finasteride. It's supposed to do the same thing. I get a lot of grief about it because people say it's not scientifically proven. Just recently, they have been doing a lot more research into saw palmetto and it's been giving some pretty positive results for um, being a DHT blocker, so helping you keep your hair. So I take the biotin, the saw palmetto to keep the hair. I also take omega-3 fish oils. These are good for your heart but also I was told it's good for conditioning for the hair. I take multivitamins as well. I've just always basically had multivitamins for years now. It's just what I've taken and I still just carry on doing that. So that's the pills I take. Like I said before, my expecia, which is not propecia, expecia, I got in Turkey that I had a year's worth and I've now stopped taking. That is biotin and saw palmetto and zinc all in one pill. So I've stopped taking that now because I've run out and you can buy it on eBay but you have to pay for it to come over from Turkey and it costs quite a bit so I just take biotin and saw palmetto. Like I always do, I'll link below my first comment where I get my stuff from on Amazon so you can go to my page and look at what I've bought on there. Don't always stick to the same brand, usually go for whatever's cheapest with the best deal. I've just got a load more saw palmetto in because I was running short. I bought four bottles of it which will last me over a year and it was I think about £30 for four bottles because they give you 20% off if you buy four in one go on Amazon. So I thought I might as well get four in. So that's the pills. 
get asked tons about shampoos. Shampoos, like I've said, I just go for the cheapest supermarket one now. I've tried expensive ones. I can't see tons of difference, to be honest. And like I said before, the pills you take, you want to give your hair the best possible chance. But the pills, if you're bald, they're not going to grow hair. They're not going to suddenly make you have tons of hair. I always get asked, where did I get it done? Um, in Turkey. But if you watch my other videos, I say it all the time so if you watch the other ones do i post photos every single video no i don't i've done quite a few videos so there are some in the title and it says with lots of photos so check those out if you want to see the the photos someone's saying they were quoted hundreds of pounds for aftercare treatments vitamins and shampoos it's up to you if you want to buy those most clinics i think sell packs they will split them i think if you don't want to buy everything in the pack i personally i bought two bottles of their saw palmetto just because of the fact I was running low and one of their multivitamins because again I was running low. I didn't buy the whole pack because I think it was about 300 euros so I just bought it off of Amazon. I mean you could be more organized like, than what I was and buy it before you go if you want. I mean I was taking biotin and saw palmetto I think it was about eight months before I went so I've been taking it for a while. Someone else has asked the distance between my eyebrows and my hairline. I I think it was about seven centimeters. Like I said before, they they do your hairline um, above your frown lines, so you don't want your hair down there because it will look stupid when you talk. It will be going up and down like that. So yeah, I mean, I'm really pleased with my hairline. Kind of goes round nicely. Just really happy with that. One thing um, I've seen lots of recently, not so much on my channel, but. A lot of people have been asking about the temples. They seem to want hair coming right round here. I mean, mine I think looks all right anyway, but I just let it go naturally. That's like natural hair that it's not had any transplanted hair put in those bits. Those bits there are called the widow's peaks, that side and that side. And mine was really receding back and it was receding at the top and on the back on the crown, which is the back area there. So those temple bits, that is my natural hair. I've not had anything put into there. Some people I've seen have started really wanting loads of hair put in there. And to me, I just didn't think it looked right. I've, I mean, each to their own. If you want it done, then fine. But if you have it done too far forward there, then it kind of looks like a Dracula kind of thing. Like it's going round like that. And it, it just looks a bit weird to me. And the hair just didn't look natural. It, it looks kind of strange. But... You know, if you want that, then speak to your clinic about that. That's one thing that's been coming up quite a lot. Yeah, I get a lot of people ask about what happens to the existing hair. So I wasn't completely bald on top. I had some hair kind of there. So if you look at some of my photos, you'll see the bits. So they're sort of saying, you know, the red bits, which was the recipient area. So they took it from the sides back, 500 grafts from under there. Put it, they start at the front they normally always do this because you want a nice hairline at the front so it looks good so you get like your hairline they then kind of work back on the top and then whatever's left goes in the crown unless if you're on your second hair transplant then yeah they might just do the crown but the reason they do this is they don't want to start on the crown then go forward and run out so you've got like half a hairline because it'd look all patchy and bitty and weird so that's usually why they start at the front and go back but yeah, the existing hair on top, you'll find that grows back quicker. Because when they shave all your hair off to do the transplant, you'll find it grows quicker, your existing hair. So that grows back and it kind of blends in with what they transplant. But it takes time. You have to give it, you know, like six months to a year. Because it, the transplanted hair grows slower, basically, to begin with. After, after you've, it's been growing for a while and it's been cut, it all seems to grow at the same speed then. But yeah, that's... That's what happens and they sort of say what happens to the existing hair is that going to fall out that's hopefully not because that's why guys take finasteride or in my case i take the saw palmetto to hopefully keep what i had on top if it does start falling out then yeah you might need a second transplant then to fill in the gaps basically but I, it may just be my age you know 45 in march so it it may just be that that's helped. I've got to the age where it's not going to fall out anymore, and hopefully that's the case. Because you know, not everyone balds completely on top. You see lots of guys who've just got like a bald crown, or they've just receded at the front, and that's it. That's what they're like for life, basically. 
Do I wear fibres? No, I don't wear hair fibres anymore. They're great if you know to do the job they do, but I don't. That's the whole point of me trying to get the hair transplant, so I didn't have to use them. Not everyone grows at the same speed. My hair, I have to admit, it does where they put crown in the crown the um, beard grafts. They are still a bit wiry. They're, they're not the same texture. They still grow, and they grow obviously longer than what it was when it was on my beard because I'd always sort of shave in it. But yeah, it, you just got to give it time, and hopefully it will thicken out. I mean. Probably up to month 12 even, mine's still been sort of growing, getting slightly thicker, so you can sort of still see it. People send me photos of their hair, please, I, you know, I don't mind trying to give them my non-professional opinion, but I'm not a doctor, so write off to clinics, send your photos off to different places, get quotes, and the doctors are the experts, they're the ones that can help you more than what I can by looking at photos. Get loads of people asking would I recommend one clinic over another I can't recommend any clinics basically apart from the one that I went to because I've not been to any others I don't know what others are like my personal one that I went to I'm really happy with it they've now moved into a different hospital and a lot of good results coming and a lot of good feedback I've been a lot of guys have been going there and saying yeah it's really great now did your hair fall out or shed? No, I was really lucky. Mine just didn't seem to come out at all. I get quite a few similar questions to what I've answered before. Do I have the beard hair? We took it from under there. Is there any scarring? No. It's, um, I haven't shaved them for a few days. It's a bit of a thicker bit there, but no, there's no sort of scarring. I'm really happy with that. To be honest, it's the annoying bit shaving under there anyway, so I wouldn't mind if they took more. But yeah, the, the hair, I kind of, I don't know if it's just me or I'm imagining it or what, but it, it does seem kind of slightly curlier than what it used to be, maybe. maybe before I used to put loads of sort of gel or, or whatever product on it and it used to sort of be slightly straighter, but now it seems a little bit more curly. But the barbers were sort of saying, yeah, your, your hair's quite curly, just let it be curly on top and, you know, shave the sides and the back to, so, it, but don't go too short on top, that's what they kept saying. Someone said about wearing a man bun, um, I'm not sure if that would suit me, but I, I kind of wanted it cut because my hair's so kind of wavy and whenever I wash it, it's so sort of whispery and it, it, it just, it goes up kind of like an afro so yeah i i kind of wanted to get it cut especially the sides in the back if i have the sides in the back longer they get all kind of curly people are asking sort of things have i been away yeah i went to hawaii luckily in december on a cruise and i went to new orleans on the way home just for a couple of nights to get away i'll be in romania in a few weeks and maybe China and Japan. I said before, travel was my passion. I just save every penny I can get on for traveling. But there are most of the questions I've had on my last video, the 12 month one. So if you get any questions, as always, leave them in a comment below. As I've said before, if you can start a new comment, it's better because the way YouTube works for me is if I allow a comment to go through, and I allow 99.9%, .9 there's just a few jokers who want to have a go at you and those comments I delete. So the ones that go through, basically, if you tag onto someone that was three months ago, it goes straight to the bottom of the pile, and if you've got hundreds and hundreds of comments, you just it's really hard to find them. You can do settings where it says unanswered comments and stuff like that, but it never seems to work quite right. So put a brand new comment, just add a comment, a new one, and I'll spot it straight away then. Do try and answer all your comments if I can. People contact me on Facebook Messenger. Please be aware that if I don't answer, my phone just doesn't seem to ever tell me if there's a new message on there. It, it seems to just, you go to requests every now and again, but it never ever shows up that there's a new message in there. Best way, if you don't want to put a comment, you don't want everyone else to see, uh, your comment because you know a lot of guys are still a little bit about embarrassed about it that's another thing just don't be embarrassed you know it's so many more people are getting their hair done now it's nothing to you know be proud of it you're doing something for you you're gonna hopefully improve your appearance you're gonna give yourself more confidence just 
I'm, like I said before, it's not my job to persuade you to go. It's got to be something you want to do. But literally, just don't be ashamed of it. Don't be so worried about what people are going to think on the flight on the way home. Who cares? You're never going to see them again. And if they do say something, just... You know, most people you'll find are really helpful or they're just curious as to why you got a headband on. Just tell them. Most people really just want to find out um, more than supportive. The only people you'll probably find that take the mick are usually people who are slightly receding or bold and usually that's they're jealous because you've done something about yours. But yeah, like I was saying, if you want to contact me personally, you, there's like on Instagram... You can see my Instagram address below. I've always put it in the bio bit just below this video. You can contact me personally through that. There's like a messenger on the top right hand corner if you've got a phone. I've got an iPhone, so it's just looking at it now. There's no messages, but it, yeah, it's like an arrow thing in the top right hand corner if you want to message me through there. But that's about it. Yeah, it's if you've got any questions, just leave them. And I do try and get back. And then if I do another video, I'll try and any that have come up quite a lot or that are really popular, I'll try and go through. Okay, thanks a lot for watching and if you like the videos, feel free to subscribe and it's always nice if you give a thumbs up on the video below. It always helps. Cheers, bye.